Welcome back to Bottom Deck Achievements, a Hearthstone achievement hunting series. The Maw and Disorder mini set has been out now for a little more than a week, and uh, I think it's pretty fun. Standard, at least, I think is in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, I'm having fun playing with some of the new stuff, and uh, I've been seeing a lot of the new stuff as well across several of the different classes. Uh, but most importantly though, today marks a very, very special occasion. This is the first time in uh, about a month that I've actually recorded gameplay for this gameplay-focused series. So call me a hack fraud for taking so much time off of the actual gameplay stuff, but uh, hey, we're going to get back to it today. We're going to be looking at some of the Shaman achievements today, since it's a class I've pretty much neglected uh, since uh, Murder at Castle Nathria has come out. So before we hop into that, we're gonna claim a couple achievements that I have finished and ready to click on. So let's get to it. Only three finished up today. Uh, the first being uh, drawing cards with Magnifying Glaive. Uh, wouldn't you know, uh, one of the cards they gave Demon Hunter, uh, the draw up to five cards one, uh, is quite good. Uh, so I played a tiny, tiny little bit of aggro DH uh, just to get this one done. Um, still haven't really been touching that class since I finished the Relic Grind. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Other than that, ah yeah, I've been playing a lot of Quest Priest. Uh, finished up the The Light It Burns achievement, uh, as well as the first half of Grand Larceny, playing with the Incriminating Psychic. Uh, this card is just a pretty good 4-drop to put in that Quest Priest deck. Um, I've been having fun, and I think I'm higher than a 50% win rate with that deck. Um, you know me, I'm a sicko that likes quest priest, or, uh, control priest, rather. So, games that go long and, and that I get to play priest, yeah, give me that. Uh, also, I'm finally doing work on the Dispossessed Soul one in playing that deck. Another four drop that's pretty decent in that deck, but progress is pretty slow going on that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Just the three there. Nothing too fancy. So, to get right into it, we are going to be looking at... Um, all of these Shaman achievements. Uh, I went ahead and crafted Baroness Vash uh, and kind of built a control list. Uh, I pulled a control list off of HS Replay that looked pretty good. Took out, it looks like there's a bit of a Murloc package in there. Took that out and added uh, an Evolve package um, as well as put in a Framester from the new mini set, uh, which is okay. Uh, but we're going to talk about this slightly more in detail by looking at the list. I only realized partly into describing the list itself that why am I not just showing off the list? Why am I telling you what's in the list when I could just show you? But yeah, like I said, uh, we are looking at a 40 card Prince Renathal uh, kind of control list. Uh, like I said, I took a uh, one of the highest win rate decks uh, of this archetype from HS Replay, took out a bunch of the Murlocs and added in a couple other cards here and there, such as Framester, uh, as well as Convincing Disguise, which has been doing a little bit of work for me, actually. And of course, like I mentioned, uh, Baroness Vosh, which I don't know the stats. Give me one second. Basically, just from looking at the stats that I can see here on HS Replay, uh, it's not a very popular card, but Baroness Vosh is actually doing work. It looks like the average deck win rate that this card is in is a little over 50%. And just clicking on the first Evolve Shaman list, I see uh, Mulligan win rate 56%. So. Not terrible. Uh, it's a card that certainly in this list has done work for me. Uh, I really hope I can show off it uh, popping off a little bit here and there. Uh, but you have your standard control stuff. You have your schooling with your fishes and your your Bolner and your kind of battle cry stuff. And of course your top end with Sire Denathrius. Um, but I've had this game go to like turn six or something where I had a muck pools out. I played, I played Vosh. I evolved her with the muck pools to summon a five drop. I played a, uh, what is it, convincing disguise up here uh, to just evolve that to get like essentially Vosh and like two other five drops. And I've had people just like, just concede like pretty quickly from there. Uh, so it's a card that is, you know, kind of impressed me with the fact that I've literally never seen it played against me, never hear anyone talking about it. And it's seems solid, maybe? just in the little bit I've played of it. So um, we're gonna hop into a couple games to see if we can't uh, get some, some good gameplay footage here, showing off the different, many different achievements that we're gonna be covering uh, with this one. Uh, I'll probably talk a little bit about Framester as it comes up in these games. I don't think it's a very good card. Uh, I've not really noticed it doing any work, but maybe today will be the day that uh, I see that turn around. So let's hop into a couple games. Lady 
Bosch versus Rexa. Yes. Oh, there's a framester. Uh, so I will say at the front end of this particular game, uh, Hunter seems to be a pretty tough matchup for this deck. Uh, Hunter is, of course, the best deck overall right now in standard. So the fact that it's, you know, a hard matchup isn't a super, super big surprise. But uh, lo and behold, like, this seems to be the thing I have the most. Oh, this is a rogue, actually. Never mind. Hunter is still difficult, but... uh. Well, this will be interesting, at least. Um, I guess we will probably go ahead and tempo out Framester so I can just start talking about this. So these framed cards, they overload for two when they're drawn, which sounds nice until you realize that it takes effect the turn after your opponent draws it. So it doesn't affect them that turn, um, rather the next turn. And plus, with a plethora of 40 card decks running around, Shuffling three cards into it isn't really doing too too much. Now I have had games where I've done some macaw shenanigans with it as well, and uh, you know that works out fairly decently. In fact, you know what? Since I'm achievement hunting, I'm just gonna do it. I don't have a Denathrius in my hand. It could be at the bottom of my deck. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it, it really just comes down to hoping you get lucky with your opponent drawing it and that maybe they have a slightly inconvenient turn. Uh, an opponent like this that has kind of a full hand, maybe it prevents them from doing something cool like once, but uh, other than that, it's not super, not doing too much, I don't think. Do this, and I guess I'll just draw three. Hey, there's the Famish Fool achievement, nice. Would like to find Denathrius, though. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Unbelievable. The one card they burned was my framed card. Oh my goodness. I guess I'll take this tragic opportunity to mention that the uh, one of the good things about this card, or the framed achievement, is that I believe that it counts the two overload uh, mana on the front end when they actually draw the card. So under normal circumstances, you know, if they didn't burn this card right now, I could concede right now and get the two ticks towards my achievement being done. Unfortunately though, man, the one time they had a full hand, un absolutely unbelievable. The time has come to I got a Deathwing. Could be a lot worse. Oh, that's annoying. That's utterly tragic. Oh, well, at least the uh, the Tyrion went away. Ah, oh, well, I guess I can take control of this Alex Straza. Trying to figure out how I want to do this. Okay. I want to swing into this f explosive trap. I want to take control of the 8-8. Eight, eight. I want to swing in here. I want to evolve Sylvanas. I want to play Cookie. Looks good. Do I do the dang thing? Cookie would get better. Alex Straza probably gets better. That questionable. That should get better. This gets maybe better, though. That's a battle cry, right? Yeah. Hey, there's one of the frames, finally. I have a bad idea. That's six more frames. That's hard to say. 
give me... Yeah, I'll dredge. And this will give me... Pick me, pick me. I want... I don't think I want Theotar. I want you to be better. Brute me, dude. Alright. See if I can't get a bunch of... Okay, I got one overload. We'll take it. Uh, and they are overloaded for two this turn, so... Maybe that messes with something they can do. Maybe they have a Denathrius they've been hanging on to. Now they can't play it. We may never know. I have Theotar for... Uh, can do a Swapsies to see if they don't concede. If only, if only Denathrius was a spell. I just want to see if they have Denathrius. They did! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Here, have my Brucon. Oh man. That overload literally stopped them from being able to, to maybe uh, stabilize by playing Denathrius. Okay, I take it back. It's the one time the framed card has like come in clutch. I absolutely can't believe that. That's incredible, actually. Uh, I'm gonna hop into one more game. Uh, I doubt it's gonna be as good and entertaining as that one, but uh, you know, just to hopefully get a little more variety on what to show off with this one. But that was that pretty much showed off everything the deck can do, except I never found uh, Baroness Vosh. What can you do? All right, a warlock, or is it? I can't believe I'm alive. Wow. Okay. Um, wow. I don't think I ever come back from this, but... Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? If only I had one more mana. No littering! Don't look away! Pawn scum! Pawn yeah. I'm dead no matter what. Oh well. You are victorious this time. It's hard when they play all their buff stuff on tempo. Lady Vosh versus Ooh, the mirror. I haven't seen Baroness Vosh once tonight. Well, oh, there she is. Speak of the devil. Speak of the Naga, I guess. Uh, I have options at least. I have school teacher to play on four. I have Command of Neptulon to play on five, so hopefully I can hold off. God, that card is so good. Especially in Wild. Lightning Storm is going to be phenomenal, my goodness. If anything, though, I think I just want a Command of Neptulon and, uh... Deal with these boys. I don't know if I necessarily want to famished fool next turn. Really, though, if I can get to be able to play Brucon, that should be good. Uh, this is definitely looking like a, a blast the board kind of turn. Oh, I have other stuff I can play. Good. That was a really good discover. God, that card is so good too. So is that card, especially when discounted with Clownfish. My goodness. My time has to give I've got. All right, I definitely want to deal two damage to all enemy minions. And I want to summon the two threes. I hate to do it, but I think it's got to be Flurgle. They just play out a bunch of boys and, you know, clear these anyway. That's good that I have that again next turn, though. That'll help. Uh, I also have Devourer next turn. If I really need to.
Devourer's looking mighty good, actually. It's gonna be a chonky boy. That was good value, I think. Alright, there's a second framed. Love to see it. Uh, next turn, I think I'm gonna be doing some Vosh stuff. Because I have, I have Muck Pools, I have... Well, I don't super want to evolve this because it's a 19 attack minion. Okay, that's good for me because that's an expensive card. Macaw would be awesome actually to find, to just clear out this board again. Yo, they're just hard running that. Oh, Ragnaros is awesome though. You should have... Oh no, you have Rush! That sucks for me. No healing for me. I was like, why doesn't that have Summoning Sickness? Yeah, they have to. They have to trade there. Oh, this is kind of tragic. I think I gotta just see what I get. Interesting. I was hoping for Desperate Prayer. Interesting. See what happens. This is the deal two to all enemies, right? Okay. This all really depends on what I top deck. Wow, they respect the they respect the Stormwind Champion of all things. Okay. Canal Slogger is so good. Fortunately, I fortunately I didn't have enough mana to play a famished fool. But uh, hey, we're stabilizing a little bit. Healing six is huge. Clearing the board is huge. The best thing is I probably heal for six more. Right here. Yeah, good. Yo, I'm about to... Let's draw six. We take those. Okay. Uh, seven, eight, nine. So let's... Okay, I, th I think we're getting there. No, oh, okay, never mind. We just got there. Cool. Okay, so we went two and one. Um, the games we've won, uh, I think, are pretty emblematic of how this deck goes. Uh, it's I'm having a lot of fun with it. Shaman is one of my favorite classes, if not my favorite class. So being able to play like a control variant, control shaman hasn't been a thing in a well. I guess it's been a thing currently for a little while, like since the last set. But um, um, I didn't really play too much of it. So this is pretty fresh for me. Uh, I'm enjoying this deck a whole heck of a lot. So if you're anything like me and you kind of slacked on the Shaman achievements for this set, uh, give this list a try if you have the cards for it or if you don't mind crafting the stuff for it. I'm, I'm enjoying it a good bit. Uh, and it, hey, we also finished the Famished Fool. That's good. Um, yeah, Framester after talking the trash about it that hasn't pulled any work it might have saved me in that first game with being uh keeping them from playing their denathrius so it's the one time that card that's like that's the highlight moment right there for that card that card will never get better than that um but yeah uh i'll be posting the deck list for this uh, down in the description of this video below so if you want to check it out uh, the exact thing i've been playing go for it 
Um, other than that, though, I think we're pretty much done here for this week. So thank you so, so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, like I said, it's been about a month since I've recorded actual gameplay for this show, and uh, that feels good. Um, also feels good that we actually got some actual meaningful achievement progress done tonight. Uh, and that the deck I showed off actually did pretty good. So uh, if you haven't done so already, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, both of those things would help me out a ton. Uh, also, uh, just do me a favor and check out another one of my videos, whether it be another of the Hearthstone videos or one of the reaction videos I've been doing recently. Um, just one more click, one more view on another video would uh, you know, be just as good as a like or, or a subscribe. Uh, also, if you don't mind, follow me on Twitter and Twitch. I'm at HeyTolman at both places. I'd love to see you at any of the socials. Uh, we've been going a little back and forth between uh, playing Hollow Knight and uh, having just general variety nights, uh, playing Vampire Survivors, uh, some retro achievement stuff. Um, it's been fun over at the Twitch, uh, so follow me there. Uh, love to see you in the chat saying hi. Uh, other than that, if you have any, uh, any achievements you'd like to see covered in a future video, please feel free to leave those in a comment below as well. And uh, other than that, uh, there's nothing left to say except thank you for watching, have a great day, may the card you need the most never be at the bottom of your deck.